Well, it's November and it's cold and we've already had some freezes and next week it's supposed to snow and the garden is really um, winding down as you can see our yard all the garden beds are empty the fruit trees are losing their leaves and we're down to the carrots and so Jim's gonna harvest our carrots today before it snows some more and <laughs> since today's a nice sunny day yes it is beautiful day it's uh we've been waiting for the weather actually to get cold to pick our carrots because if you pick them before it's cold they tend to be a little more bitter so if you wait until you have a freeze which we've had uh, you can see the tops are kind of wilting down here it actually makes the carrots sweeter so we're going to be yanking these out you're going to see for the well, you know same thing we're going to see we planted different colors of carrots uh, all indications from what I've seen is that the orange ones did better than the other colors. Uh, these were nicely spread out. They're in a two by eight bed, about two foot deep. So just give you an idea. Yep. Look at that carrot right there. Beautiful. Is that not beautiful? Well, we're going to have a lot more here. And... I'm really excited about this. Oh, look at that carrot there. Wow. Nice big carrot. They look good. And we're gonna do those. Um, maybe I can show you what we how we're gonna what we're gonna do with them here. Um, and maybe then we can just get a a picture. You can see their various sizes. There's a, a yellow carrot. We tried mm -hmm. different colors. Mm -hmm. Is that not interesting? And the different colors provide different nutrients. Uh, here's another big one. And he's actually split for some reason. So we mm. probably won't be, we'll cut the bad off and we'll probably just use the good part right away. And we won't worry too much about storing that one. So anyway, we'll uh, pick a few more here and then we'll go over to the table here outside and I'll show you what you have to do. And we, I can tell you this, in this little spot, we're ha we have a ton of carrots. I'm still looking for one of those big, dark purple ones. Let's see if we can find one in here. They kind of push themselves up out of the ground when they get so big. Uh, let's see here. We do have some red ones in here. Get a load of this. Look at the size Ooh. of that carrot. And that is a big, dark, wow. purple carrot. High in antioxidants. Yep. The, the darker the color, Yep. the more antioxidants. Right. And... We just keep picking here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And we buy our seeds a lot of places, but I got to be honest with you on these orange ones. We actually bought these. I had a place I found them uh, at the uh, local Menards. They were selling them for 33 cents a pack, and I thought, I'll try them. <laughs> so imagine all the orange carrots I'm getting for 33 cents. Actually, it's probably, I probably put in a couple packs in there. And we grew these in a little bit deeper bed. Let's see if I can kind of. Yes. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper bed, and uh, so the carrots would have plenty of space to grow. And we actually grew them right behind uh, part of our herb garden, so they kind of coexisted all summer. Yes, we did. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, there's another big. Look at the size of that carrot. Mm. Wow, that's, a, that's huge. So, you know, you can grow these in a small space. You can make a small raised bed. This one just Well, you can actually grow them in a bucket, couldn't you? You can. You can grow them in a bucket. The main thing, if you grow them in a five-gallon bucket, like the kind you would see at uh, Menards or Lowe's, is that you got to keep them well watered because right. they really take a lot of water. But they'd be deep enough. Yes. Okay. Well, 
that gives you an idea of what we've got in here. I'm trying to see if any other colors. Oh, another purple one. Hmm. Another purple carrot. Uh -oh. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, another purple one. Very interesting. Well, Do you remember where we got the purple carrots at? Yes, we got the purple and the white and the yellow and the red we got from um, oh, Baker Creek Seeds. Baker okay. Creek Seeds. Highly recommend them. They have beautiful catalogs. Absolutely incredible catalog. Um, not terribly overpriced and lots of good information. And they actually have two catalogs. They have one you can get for free. And they also have another one that has a lot of interesting information and stories and how-tos and even more of their vegetables. And all their vegetables are, they are not GMO, they are organic, everything is just perfect. I highly recommend them. They're even fun just looking at the, at the pictures that they have. So anyway, we'll keep uh, pulling here a little bit. But I think we're going to stop here for a minute, and if Susan agrees, and we'll come over here and I'll show you what we have to do with the carrots when you get ready to store them. Because very important, this is very important when you're doing this. If you have your carrot, let's take our carrot here. If you leave the tops on, they will get very soft and flabby because all the moisture escapes through the entire plant. So what I do is all that you have to do is just cut this much off. Just cut that off just like that. And they highly recommend, most people recommend that you immediately take them in, put them in a plastic bag and seal it tightly. Without washing them. Without washing them. Uh, if you want to get the dirt off, you can just kind of lightly rub it off. Do not wash them. If you wash them and put them in the plastic bag, they'll rot. Mm -hmm. Leave them exactly like this. So all you have to do here is just take them and go like this and just cut them off. Leave a little bit of the green on there. That's all you have to do and you have carrots and these will store for many weeks at doing that. Now, should you get towards the end and you, you realize there's one I cut too short, but if you um, start to notice that, uh-oh, they're getting kind of flabby and they're getting soft, as long as they're not rotting, they could still be used in soups. You can still use them uh, to make carrot cake, one of my favorites, and uh, that's uh, something you can do. And basically, that's it. That's it. Okay. Well, we're going to sign off because we have a lot more carrots to, to pull.